we are asked to solve the radical equation and give the exact solution as well as the solution rounded to four decimal places. When solving a radical equation with one radical, the first step is to isolate the radical on one side of the equation, which means we need to begin by isolating the cube root of the quantity x minus 5. Let's first isolate the radical term by subtracting 2 on both sides. Simplifying, 2 minus 2 is 0, and therefore the equation is now 10 times the cube root of the quantity x minus 5 equals 5 minus 2, which is equal to 3. The next step is to divide both sides by 10. Simplifying 10 divided by 10 simplifies to 1. We now have the cube root of the quantity x minus 5 equals 3 tenths. The next step is to raise both sides of the equation to the power of the index, which will undo the radical. So because we have the cube root of the quantity x minus 5, we now cube both sides of the equation, or raise both sides of the equation to the third power. On the left, cubing undoes the cube root, and therefore the left side simplifies to just the quantity x minus 5. It equals on the right, the cube of 3 tenths is equal to 3 cubed over 10 cubed, which is equal to 27 thousandths. And now to solve for x, we add 5 to both sides. Simplifying, negative 5 plus 5 is 0. We have x equals, let's write the right side as 27 thousandths plus 5 over 1. To add, we need to obtain a common denominator, which is 1,000. To write 5 over 1 as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 1,000, we multiply the numerator and denominator by 1,000, which gives us x equals 27 thousandths plus 5,000 thousandths, which gives us 5,027 thousandths. So this is the exact solution written as an improper fraction. We're also told to express the answer rounded to four decimal places. 5,027 divided by 1,000 is exactly 5.027. So the directions do say round to four decimal places, but notice how when we divide, the decimal terminates after three decimal places and therefore we're able to give the exact value in decimal form as well. This won't always be the case, so if the decimal does not terminate, we would round to four decimal places. Whenever we solve a radical equation though, it is important to check the solution. So now let's verify the solution does work. To do this, we will substitute 5,027 thousandths back into the original equation. Performing substitution, we would have two plus 10 times the cube root of 5,027 thousandths minus 5 equals 5. This gives us 2 plus 10 times the cube root of 5,027 thousandths minus, we already know 5 is equal to 5,000 thousandths, so we have minus 5,000 thousandths equals 5. This gives us 2 plus 10 times the cube root of, this difference is just 27 thousandths, which is equal to 5. Now remember, 27 thousandths is equal to the cube of 3 tenths, and therefore the cube root of 27 thousandths is equal to 3 tenths. This gives us 2 plus 10 times 3 tenths equals 5. Remember, 10 is equivalent to 10 over 1. Here we can simplify before multiplying. There's 1, 10, and 10 here and here, which gives us 2 plus 3 on the left, and 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, which verifies our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.